Hey, welcome back to Blar and Rick Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at Painted Legend. Uh, this game was on Steam. It's an indie game. It came out in 2016. Uh, the blurb we have here is, Imagine that one day, all the worlds that you have created on paper, live, brave knights, fearsome dragons, and terrible monsters, they all live on the pages of your notebook. So that's the, the idea of the game and the graphic style, which I liked. That's kind of what draw, drew me into getting the game. Uh, I got it for, I think, under a dollar. It's hard to even recommend, even at that price. It's, we'll get to the gameplay here. As multiplayer, you, know, you have two players here. You can each pick your uh, your character with some unlockables. You got a knight, a dark knight, a viking, a wizard, a mage. Um, can remember the bottom guy there. It doesn't matter though. They all play the same, from what I can tell. I played the knight, the viking, and the wizard. They don't have anything. They don't have any spells. They just have their weapon. And that's, that's it. That's all you have. Again, it looks cool to me. I like the idea of this. So you have a campaign, you have a Halloween quest, a summer quest. It's like 2018. It's probably when they stopped supported. Because I think there's a pain in, there is a pain in legend too. I did see that. But they want like six bucks for these games. Don't pay that. Here's your controls. WASD. That's it. No controller support. F to attack. And hide the controls here. And we'll get started. Because here's your character. You go left, right. W to jump. And here's probably one of the worst parts of the game is that music you hear is constant. It's just going to be constant throughout the game. It doesn't match. Um, I'm not sure what the idea was behind that. You're going to collect these coins, which don't seem to do anything. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a score at the end of the levels or not. Or some kind of wood creature you fight. Uh, the hitboxes are pretty rough. <laughs> it gives us up to attack. Here's your platforming. It's kind of floaty. You do have some air control over your character. So you're going to collect these coins. Okay, there's your score up there. Yeah. So maybe it's a high score game. I don't know. But it's definitely not very fun. And I've played more than I thought I would of this game. For one, I did a, a video and the sound was terrible. So that's why we're here now playing it again. So these are bigger wood creatures, they're more of a pain, so this guy almost got me. Uh, it does, it's pretty good about giving you health potions to restore all your hearts. So that was, I don't know, stage 1.1 maybe. So we got some water down here. It looks pretty good, like I said, it, it's, it's a shame this game isn't better, because I like the way it looks. And here's your uh, contraption here. So you're gonna find those, bring like vines down, to unlock some stuff. It's a big sea monster. And there's that music, it's constant. <laughs> Grab some more coins. After you're a little bit of backtracking, and this is as fast as you're gonna go, so here we go. <laughs> some climb animation? Not really. You just kinda float on up. Grab some more gold coins, get your health potion. Here's some birds away. The thing I didn't notice about the game, you can just jump over monsters and just run away. And uh, that's all you need to do. You don't need to really engage until the boss fight, which it does have a boss fight at the end of the stage. So I guess in every stage has a boss fight. I've only made it to end of stage one for a boss. So I think I made this, you know, stage two or so, but it's so boring. It's just doing what you see here. Walking. Walking, get some coins, jump this guy, because why fight him? Doesn't matter, it's like a orc. Health potion, two orcs, doesn't matter. Jump him. They, they run and stop. They all, all the enemies seem to do that. They run, stop. <laughs> Climb up here, more coins. Alright, health potion. Try to save this health potion and go fight those orcs so you can see some more of the exciting battle mechanics. Of painted legend. All right, let's go ahead and you can't climb down. You kind of just have to jump. There's a blue potion over there that doesn't do anything. I think it's just for score. Oh no, it does do something. That's right. Which you'll see here in a second. Oh man. <laughs> so now you're a sea monster for some reason. So I don't know if that changes each level when you get a blue potion. Did you change to a different monster? Or you're just this like sea monster that doesn't have any more life and seems to have a worse weapon being his hand so I don't know if it's like a good thing or a bad thing you become this guy I think it seems like a bad thing interesting idea you know, transform your character 
But if you do the exact same thing, who cares? So there's those coins you saw earlier you couldn't get to. Now you can drop down and grab them. Increase your score for, again, I don't think any reason at all. Keep on running. Jump. We have half a heart here. And it should be in the level pretty soon. It's not really signed in the level. We just keep running this way. And there you go. <laughs> So it's getting dark here. The sun's going down in Pain of Legend. Keep on running. I think this is the boss battle stage. This is not bad and bother with him. Get some more the money. So now you can like battle when you see like health right there. <laughs> no hit detection. You never really know if you're hitting them or not. You just kind of fall down. Same with you. You don't know if you're being hit. Like, unless your hearts go down. That's about it. You gotta gauge that. Alright, here we go. Now, he will take the health and heal himself. So you have to watch that. There's some strategy for you. If you ever do play this game, but you shouldn't. Yeah, he got me there. So I'll retry. So it starts you the beginning of the level. Luckily they're short. So let's see if we can beat this boss in, in this review. <laughs> this game is not very good. So again, Spain Legend 2016. Developed and published by One Guy Studios. So maybe it's a one-person project. Well, charging six bucks is way too much. This is like a 99 cent game, or f really a free game at best. You know, put some spells in it, or better hits, or weapons, something. Uh, let's go ahead and beat this boss so we can see our victory screen. He overcomes down. <laughs> Exciting boss battle. Grab what we can. And there's that music, more of the same. I give this game a 2 out of 10. So thanks for watching Triple R, there's some zombies here. <laughs> One hit kill for these zombies is nice. Alright, thanks for watching Triple R, have a good day or night, wherever you are.